Hi, in this screencast we're going to talk about clearing the float setting in CSS. A lot of times when you're done floating the HTML element and you want the next element to not be a part of the floating group, you would use the clear style. Okay, and let me show you an example here. In my CSS folder I have a clear image .html. Uh, this is uh, the same file from uh, the CSS float screencast. And let me show you the file in, in the browser. And you'll see that I have a paragraph and a flash video, then a couple paragraphs, uh, three paragraphs that follow the flash video. And because I had the video floated right, uh, the following paragraphs would wrap around this video, right? Okay, so let's look at the source using top style. And you'll see that uh, in the style sheet I have a floating class that sets float to right, right? And I've assigned that class to this div that contains a flash object flash video and so uh, everything above this div will not be affected but uh, the paragraphs after it will be affected these will be affected by the float right property um, these texts would wrap around this object this div object until uh, the div object ends and then uh, wraps around it okay so what if, let's bring back Firefox, what if I just want this paragraph, for example, be as the description of this video, but I don't want this to be at this place, I want it to start here at the new line because it's not something relevant to the video. In order to do that, we would do clear. Okay, and how I usually do it is uh, this is the video. This is the first paragraph, which is the description of the flash video. Right here, I would just do style, do an inline style, okay, and then set the clear rule like that clear colon, and then you have the option of left like that or right like that or both. Okay. Uh, so if your previous object was float at right, you have to use right to clear the float right property. If the object was floating left, then you have to do clear left. Or you can just do clear both. This is what I usually do. I just clear both because I know my next line, I want my next line to be independent and not be a part of the floating group. So uh, I would just do an inline style, clear both inside like a line break, and this line would start at a new line. Let's save it, minimize it, bring back Firefox. Look at this paragraph, okay? Refresh it. So you'll see that this paragraph started here and this place becomes blank because it's not part of the floating group anymore. The float right entity stopped here and the paragraph started in the new line. And this is what you do to clear floats. Okay? And of course you can set this in a class and assign a class to uh, whatever element you want to clear. Okay? And uh, that's it. Thank you very much.